It's Johnny and in this video I'm going to be talking about a little known issue. It's to do with the plugin AAWP. AWP is a popular plugin where you can use it to add uh, content boxes, you can add product tables, you can add images and it makes it all fairly straightforward and simple to implement and put on your site. Now you can also add a second button into these product tables and content boxes. So there's a little known issue with this plugin that I've recently just become aware of and the thing is it could also be affecting your rankings. So if you do use the AWP plugin, then you will want to watch this video just so you're aware of this possible issue. So I recently did a video on the plugin AWP and in the video I was showing you how you can add a second button to your content boxes and to your product tables. Now usually most people they just have the one button on their content boxes and on their product tables that link to the Amazon Associates program. So they use the Amazon Affiliate program to earn a commission. Now, by adding the second button, it allows you to then link to another seller or another retailer. So for me, for instance, on my blogs, I use the eBay Partner Network. So when I used to promote a product, I could send them to Amazon. But because I had this second button, it also allowed me to send people to eBay where they could also buy it. So they could obviously buy it second hand from there. They could buy it new from there. Now, this was a game changer for me. So in 2020 alone, I just did a, a video recording just before this. And I was, I was explaining how off the eBay partner network alone, I've earned over 15,000 US dollars. Now this extra revenue came from adding the second button to the product tables and to the uh, content boxes that I make using AAWP. Now after that video, I got a little bit of a disturbing comment on comments for that video. And what someone said to me was, uh, how do you change that link that off that second button so it's a no follow link? So what did I do? I went onto the settings, I had a look through, uh, I checked my sites, I could see that my sites were not no follow. The links going to Amazon were all no follow using AWP, but the link for this second button was not a no follow link. Now, if you're into SEO and you build content sites and blogs, then you probably know that if you've got an affiliate link, then it's a no no to do it as a follow. You, you should really be putting that link as a, a no follow link. But with, with using the AWP plugin, the issue is that second button, not putting that as a nofollow link. Just quickly, if you're finding this video useful and enjoying it, don't forget to give it a like as it really does help me out. Also, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that little bell to get notified when I release a new video to find out when you get certain situations just like this that you might need to know about. So I couldn't find a solution to this, so I reached out to AAWP support and they did quickly reply to my message and what I learned was that this second button when it was originally designed for AWP it was designed for for like a more information button so if I was linking a product on Amazon for this product box but I also had an article about this product on my site I could then link it within my own site so in that case I would want it to be a follow link so that is correct so that's where the issue has come with uh, the AWP and why it is is because when they, when they did do it, they intended it to be a link that was internal within your own site. Now, they did say they had put it on their to-do list to make it so that second button is actually a no-follow link. They couldn't promise me when this would be done by, but they said it is on their to-do list and it will get done. Now, what you decide to do going forward, I personally, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm gonna leave them on even though they are do-follow links. I've, I've actually got that on hundreds of posts now, so it'd be a lot of work for them for AWP to update it and then have to put them all back on. So I'm just gonna leave them on. Like I said, I'm gonna leave that button on. It is linking to other affiliate programs. It's a great feature. It is working for me. Personally, don't think I've seen it affect my uh, traffic in terms of as a do follow link. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of this possible problem, should I say. Like I said, if you use it as it's designed to link internally within your site, not an issue. But if you are doing like I recommended in my video, link it to other affiliate programs, like I said, it's a great way to earn extra revenue, adding that extra button to your product tables and to your content boxes. But it's just something that you need to be aware of, which is why I decided to do a video about it. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and you've not already done so, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell if you want to be notified every time I release a new video. I do try to produce videos every week that can really help people who are trying to make money online and build content sites, so it's well worth subscribing. So thanks for watching the video and hope to see you in the next video.